what are we vacuuming, dude? I don't know. Tastes good though. <coughs> We are back at our duplex job finally, and it's time to get rid of all the drywall dust because it's done and get ready for paint. And we're just noticing it's a jungle out here. We've been gone for over three weeks and summer hit and everything grew up. So I think we might also have to weed eat. There's even weeds growing into the port john like through the cracks or something here. What we missed out here because we were out doing other projects was the mechanical systems getting finished, heat and air, plumbing, electrical, the insulation, which ended up being all spray foam, walls and roof, which is great. And then the drywall hanging and finished, we hire that out. And that's where we are today. Let's check it out. So you're doing that to every one of those? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. I think it's a great idea. Everyone, and I even went through with a nail and I picked out the corner of every corner. Every, the corner of every corner. Corner of every Good corner. Because Jamie says when they sand that uh, the uh, drywall dust gets jammed up in there. It does. Yeah. I mean, there was like two that had some in there. Yeah, you're you know, doing a great job. <laughs> gosh we're almost there we can almost vacuum sad I have to do all this to do something I don't want to do vacuuming that whole time thinking I had the vacuum that had the bag on it and it didn't it was just a filter in there so now five minutes it's caked and it's always fun to knock them out well it's not fun it's fun to watch <laughs> wow good to go <coughs> Go again. All right, there you go, bro. Maybe Jamie will have some bags for us. It's like LeBron James. Yeah. <laughs> Except we're vacuuming drywall dust like a bunch of doofuses. <laughs> Is this really our job? I guess so. I don't know. I don't think I Oh, should there's Jamie. Do. You got bags? You got bags? Bag installed. Ready for more vacuuming. See what Arlo's doing? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering who was gonna get this job of scraping the overspray. You're the man, Arlo. It's happening. I was wondering, do you think we would put maybe a base across there high so we don't even have to go all the way back? Maybe. Or kick a board or something in there. You <laughs> sweated like a gallon Dude, already. This, your shirt <laughs> is drenched. I'm not a man compared to <laughs> no. Yeah, All right, way to go, Arlo. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Vever, and today we're checking out the Vever sewer camera, which is a great tool to have not only if you're a plumber, but also if you're a builder. 
This tool features a large 4.3 inch color TFT LCD screen. And aside from that, the pipeline inspection camera comes with a DVR function and a 16 gigabyte micro SD card so that you can film or take pictures of whatever you find in your pipes. So check it out. That's the end of where our sewer goes out and we had taped the end and then filled the outside with dirt. We're gonna have to hook that up later. So we're all clear. Let's back it out. The camera is also waterproof and has six LED lights right on the end, and it can work up to 65 feet underwater with no water damage. The integrated and flexible spring of the camera enables it to make turns easily in the pipes, especially in the ordinarily hard to reach areas. And it has over a 98 foot long cable, which is long enough for pretty much any residential drain system. The sewer camera also has an 8500 milliamp rechargeable battery, so you don't need a power cable to run this thing, which is really nice, and it gets you up to 14 hours of continuous working time. To get your own Vever sewer camera, just click the link in our video description. It'll take you to the right place, and then use coupon code VVPRO to save an additional 5% off. Also, make sure to check out the details for Vever's July monthly activity in the video description. It has all the details, and this month it's Upgrade Your Car with Vever Tools. Thank you, Vever, for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. Jono said he wants to do that job, Arlo. Is that all right? Just leave it like it is. No, I've got it done. <laughs> oh, God. Does that suck or what? I think we got it. Yeah. At least I didn't do knock down on every single wall in here. Yeah, no kidding. You know what they say about paint? I, I actually don't know. It's all in the prep work. Oh yeah. Well, we should be awesome at painting then because we've <laughs> prepped the heck out of it. I think. We've been vacuuming, actually, well, how long? About two hours two cleaning hours, now? Five guys. And I've been driving around for three hours. How does that help? Well, all the things that we keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I try to say we. I just keep thinking, oh, I need that. Oh, I gotta go get it. <laughs> Paint, you know, primer, yeah. vacuums, lights, power cords, you know, staples, plastic, uh, I don't know, um, paint sprayers. Did you get us coffee? Uh, no. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. You know, I'll be back in a minute. Where are you, where are you going now? Where are you going now? Coffee. Dude, you guys are joking. He hasn't been here all morning. Ah, it's the worst noise ever. Does it every time. You guys are doing Jamie's signature roll the plastic a couple times around the edges and staple it. And that'll all get covered with our trim boards later. The, sta the staples. Make a gasket, he always says. Arlo found the one other crappiest place to have to get the dust out of is right here and right there, but he's doing it. Uh, you just gonna rake it down to me? Look at that. Carding the edge of this tub, credit card? No. No. Oh, a Hearn card. That's from Vegas. Wow. That's special. So what he's doing is getting the mud off without scratching the tub. And then the tape will stick. We can plastic these things off. It's really hard to get painter's tape to stick to this poly plastic when you're taping off these tubs. Mm -hmm. So Arlo came up with the idea to just do the painter's tape on the tub and then stick zip tape on top of that because you don't want to stick that to the tub. <laughs> you would need a new tub. You would never get it off. And that will stick to the plastic though. And it's working like amazing. So good. Yep. Oh, whoa now. Oh, there you go. Man. oh. You about stuck it to my arm. Okay, let's demonstrate. Alright. But so you pull the plastic up and I will do the tape. The key is We don't want any of the oh. primer overspray on this tub because that won't come off very easy either. If that wasn't obvious. <laughs> yeah, this is, is fantastic. That'll hold. I have sprayed before, and just the pressure of the air of the sprayer blow the uh, plastic loose from the painter's tape. Yeah. Then you got major You're problems. You're in a real sticky spot. Yeah. So that's great. Good job, Arlo. It's good to have Arlo around for painting. He's usually off doing other stuff. 
You know, we're probably going to pull those gutter downspouts too to stain these posts or paint them. Yeah, they're going to get painted. That's, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to spray. We need to start spraying. You guys can take the tub. <laughs> we got a lot of spraying to do. We got 25 gallons to run through this machine here, and we haven't started yet. So let's go. Applying primer to this bare drywall is a really important step for a good paint job. It seals the paper on the drywall and it dries really hard around any like fuzzies and stuff from the paper so that we can sand those off and get a nice smooth even finish on the paint. Otherwise, if you didn't sand in between the primer and the painting, you'd have this kind of uneven, weird, rough texture every now and then. It looks really bad. Jimmy, do you have another sprayer? Yeah, I got one more. The big one. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to this, this can only door. go so fast. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, do it. Okay. okay. Just got done painting the blue drywall, which is the moisture resistant. And I know it's moisture resistant for sure because you got to paint it like twice or three times to cover the blue. Just primer. Just primer. Three coats of primer. That may be the only difference is that it's painted more. <laughs> they probably don't make the drywall any different. So uh, Jamie's got me set up here with a walk plank so I can get the ceiling out this section of the hallway stairwell. It's always the hardest part. That's a good setup. Yep. If you're wondering how to do that, that's how we do it. We already blew through 15 gallons of primer <clears throat> on the two upstairs. So Jamie went to get more. This is like twice what we... <laughs> We thought we'd use and uh, definitely the temptation with primer is to put it on too thick because it doesn't cover as well as paint so you're like oh it's hidden covering so you keep laying it on well it's also thinner than paint so it starts running and so you gotta be careful i found that i just tend to put it on too heavy if i'm not like really paying attention i got 10 more gallons so that'll be a total of uh let's see i got 25 15. right 25 plus I had about another three probably wow that I already that I had a chop. How thick are you putting it on there? I mean, I'm just going normal like I okay. don't know. I just it takes a lot. Right. This is two houses That's a good design, huh? Dude, this, is, this is the stupidest thing ever like I literally can't for the life of me get that off so Oh yeah, you can't get your You fingers. can't get, you can't get in here. You can't even get a wrench I on can't it. You can't get it either. Dude, how stupid is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna have to do this. I didn't want to do this. I just want to open the lid. But I'll tell you another stupid thing. If you could get it open, then you pour paint, that thing fills up with paint, and then you put the lid down in that. And mm. that just seals it in for a turn. job to design a paint lid. You know, they did that probably so they could stack them. Oh, yeah. All right. I was noticing there were no recessed lights in the whole house. That's different. It looks like there's no recessed lights, but oh. actually they get cut in later. Oh, they're a different kind, huh? They are. We, we had to actually use, I, I don't know what they're called, like pucks or, yeah. or they're a little like uh, LED flat can things yeah because the layout didn't work out with our truss spacing oh and the electrician said well we can use these little thin ones so we're going to cut the drywall flip those in they got a little flap on top of the drywall mm -hmm. yeah almost like a remodel kind of can yeah oh that's cool uh, a retrofit thing so i think we use those at arlo's place when we helped yeah them. i didn't yeah. i didn't do that one yeah it's all you okay that's i just thought there was no it. recess lighting because why i didn't get i didn't know no this is i it. like recess lighting. um hopefully we don't have to touch it the electricians i hope are going to do a really fine job of cutting those holes yeah without touching we have a rule <laughs> don't touch the ceiling literally they know on our jobs we're so picky because we don't want their dirty hands touching yeah. the ceiling they show up paint. wearing like surgeon gloves they, they really do <laughs> they put on their medical gloves and they're clean and if they have to touch something they know that i will flip if they get dirty <laughs> handprints on the ceiling. So thank you guys, you do a great job. We are done priming, so we're gonna go straight for ceiling paint and we're gonna start where we started the primer so it's dry. And we're gonna make a straight swap and then hose down like the under the stair closet first 
so it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna clean the sprayer, so Jamie's gonna demonstrate this move. It's always a good one. <laughs> okay, you ready? All right, we just wanna get rid of the bulk here of the primer. Luckily, it's white and white. I think that's good enough. Oh, my thing has some little... Um, oh, it did filter. Yeah, it did. I think some of that had some crud in it. Anyway, there okay. we go. It's pretty clean. And boom, ceiling paint. Okay. And to flush the machine of all the mixed that we're going to have a little mix here, I'm going to go underneath the closet under the stairway where nobody will ever go and you will never see it. Uh, hey, let's just shake on the deal. Yeah. <laughs> let's just shake on this. Nope. All right. Nope. No. You know, I just realized we don't have any water here. I know, I was, when I saw you do that, I was like, uh-oh, what's he gonna do? Water. Yo, shake my hand. You heard me going on and on about how you have to sand. Well, on the ceilings, we don't have to sand because they're textured and we're using flat paint. So we can just spray it on there. And since we're pretty good with these paint sprayers, we don't even have to touch it up or back roll it or anything. And I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're really comfortable with it. But in the end, with this flat paint, textured ceiling, pretty good with the sprayer, it's gonna end up looking like a really nice ceiling. Jason handed me these bifocal glasses. I don't know how anybody wears these things. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. If you look down. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Well, if you're up on the walkboard, you gotta be careful. <laughs> All right, I think we're done. The guys have been on outside paint detail here. PT posts are now white. Looking good. Ceiling's white. Air thing. Air. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> I've noticed something about painting these pressure treated posts. Okay, they're wet, right? Right. Okay. Now they say, well, don't stain or paint your pressure treated wood till it dries. Mm -hmm. It's common. Everybody's heard that. Well, what happens when it dries is it cracks, right? Mm -hmm. Checks. Yeah. Checks, cracks, sometimes warps, bows, twists, and other. Well, I've noticed. The ones that we paint right away, they don't crack as much. Huh. They dry slower. Slower. And I think that actually helps them to be a better post in the More end. More stable. Yeah. As they dry. Slower drying. And I think it's... So it's not recommended or something. Huh. But by who? Who's not recommending this? I don't know. Is it, is it us? To, we've, we've recommended that. But that in the past, right? We say, oh, you can't stain or paint this yet. That's just because we want... <laughs> We don't want to do it. We didn't want to do it. So oh, we're like, can't, no, we can't stain no, your deck you... for six months. We're out of here. <laughs> oh, man. We used to not stain any decks or any yeah. posts or treated stuff. But that's what people told us. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to do that. But I think you should right wow. away. You're really blocking the shot of my nice new truck. Oh, man. Here. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get in the way of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Uh, it's just my thought. Man, this is getting long. There's no way we got room for this in the video. <laughs> oh, God. Ray's been staring at me the whole time like, hmm. I wonder if he'll just cut all of this. I've actually been yes. thinking about his face. Oh. Like, it's like the opposite of a superhero mask. Oh, yeah. Most of the time Rever they cover, like, I'm reverse superhero. Yeah. Is this, this camera's not even on, dude. He's just <laughs> pretending. <it's laughs> oh, I got to go wash up. Is there anything in the filter? Yeah, yeah, progressively less through the system, right? This is made to filter it here, right on the machine. And then of course you got a secondary filter in the handle. And yes, there was quite a bit of trash in that paint that I used. Some of it though was from like the last job. Hmm. So it sat in the bucket a while. Yeah. Not too surprising, but the filters did their job and I only got stopped up on the tip like two or three times. Yeah, I didn't get any. Really? None. Oh, good for you. Federal. The spray tips, I use a little can here of acetone to dissolve all the paint that's been drying on the tip. And then after I've got the whole machine cleaned out, I'll actually put these back on and blast water through there and it'll clear, see all that paint in the thing mm -hmm. there? It'll just blast all that right out because I really can't clean that out too well or too easily. Acetone. Who'd have thought? Who'd have, not, who'd have thunk it? Let's run it till it's clear. Now I'm not wondering why the truck bed is all painted. <laughs> Not wondering at all. Hey, when you get a minute, make sure to head over to PerkinsDeals.com. It's all building and construction related items and they're up to 90% off. We're working with a company called South Main Hardware and we are liquidating their extra stuff and we get a cut of it. So there's all kinds of stuff, building and construction related. It's a rolling stock. Once stuff is sold out, it's gone. So make sure to head over there and check it out. Jason's surfing around. What are you buying? Um, bungee cords, it looks like. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that, like a dollar for Some like- bongos. 
So look, look at that. We got toilet flushers. Perfect. Three bucks. Three bucks. That's what I'm saying. What? There's all kind of stuff. Toilet, toilet seats. seats. Yeah, you can get uh, faucets, like cabinet hardware. All right, th but that one's not building construction. <laughs> Dude. That's a, bit, that's a meat claw for doing barbecue. That's the best that's thing on here. That's man related. Are those from Uganda? Dude, that looks like bear claws. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're called a meat claw. Yeah, I that's think how it's Black Panther. <laughs> Push oh, you have your own site? Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Multi-tool, dollar ninety-seven. Nice. Take ten, please. Can I put it on your tab? Is there a way for me to put it on your tab? <laughs> sure. 